I'm Louisa Barton with the Horse Talk Show here at Live Oak International visiting the Budweiser Clydesdales. They're going to be here this weekend from March 5th to the 8th. Incredible to watch in action or visit here in the barn like I am today. I have with me one of their handlers, Lane Zonka, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the grooming and harnessing procedures that go on to keep these magnificent giants really clean, especially the white part. Lane, tell us a little bit about some of the, the grooming procedures that go on to keep the Budweiser Clydesdales looking so incredible. Right. Uh, so we typically groom them every day, whether we have a show or not. Um, based on our show schedule, if we do that day is how we groom them. So if we have a show, we will get them out, we curry them with a curry comb, and then vacuum them, brush them off, and comb out their uh, mane and tail. Once that's done, then they'll go to the wash rack where they'll get their feathers nice and white. Uh, after that, they'll go back in their stall till however long until the show starts. Um, then we give ourselves about, oh, 45 minutes before we leave for the event to roll their mane and tail and foretop, braid them up real nice. Um, then once that's done, we'll load them up on the truck and go to the show. Now talk about getting that white white. Mm -hmm. So we have a uh, shampoo and whitener that we'll put in. Um, when we can, we also try to wash the legs, keep ahead of it, keep them nice and white. Uh, put the shampoo in, rinse it in, rinse it out, and then put spray the whitener on, um, and then let it, the whitener dry on it, and it comes out nice, fluffy, and white, and it also repels dust off of there. Wow. How many hours a day do caretakers spend in grooming on average? Oh, I would say anywhere from three to four just on the horses. Um, you know, a couple people doing it. Um, you know, we always want to make them look presentable uh, to the public eye. So uh, they got to look their best. We got to put in the time and effort. Incredible. Um, talk a little bit about some of the, the tack that we have here behind us. We have a harness and a bridle. Yep. So uh, this trailer is the harness trailer. So all the harness rides in here. Um, as you can see, you got the collar here and the bridle as well. Um, the wheel horses, they'll have a britching that goes on them and a back pad. And the front six will have a spider and a back pad that goes on them. So when we get to the show, we will unload the horses one by one. Um, how we line them up, so we go right to left, starting with wheel, body, swing, and lead. Um, and they're on the trucks. And wheel is the closest yeah. to, the, wagon. to the wagon. Yep, so they have to be the biggest and strongest. Uh, so we'll start with them. They'll come. We'll tie them up to the trailer. We'll groom them again. So we'll brush them off, get all the dust off them, comb out their feathers. Uh, then they'll come here where we have two of us that are harnessing them. So the first thing that comes out is the collar, and it gets put on. It's, the collar is about 60 pounds, um, which is nothing to them. It's like putting on a backpack. Um, then we'll put on the bridle, and then after that, the next person will come out and put on the back pad, britchin and or spider. Uh, then we'll get the lines on them and they'll get sent off and go to the wagon. And then the next one will come up and we should kind of have a system. And how many of you does it take to do the whole hitching process? Uh, we can do it with five people. Uh, we do it anywhere from five to seven people. And how long does the whole hitching process from beginning to end take? Uh, we can do it in about 40 minutes. So all eight horses coming out here, getting them groomed, harnessed and hooked up. That's quite a system. Yeah, we kind of got it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk a little bit about the, now you said the weight, about 60 pounds? Yeah, so that's just the collar alone. So the whole set on the horse is about 135 pounds. Nothing for a horse this size? Mm -mm. No, they weigh, you know, like I said earlier, they weigh about 2,000 pounds. So 130 isn't anything for them. Now, talk about the, the driver. The reins are um, the lines, as you call them. Uh, 40 pounds or so and then with the pressure also of the horse it's like about 75 pounds right yeah so just static weight sitting there without any pressure on is 40 um, once they get going uh, whether it be walking or trotting anywhere from 70 to 80 pounds um, so the lead line that we'll have in our hands it goes over the top of our finger that's line the whole line is 75 foot long so if you were to sit up there and look you know you got it's a ways up there and it's it's a cool feeling to know that you have control of all eight of them wow that's incredible now uh is that that must be quite tiring for the for the driver obviously they're they're trained and used to that but do they take it do they take it in turns with the person next to them and get a break yeah for sure that's why we put two drivers up there because it can get tiring um we just came from mardi gras in new orleans where we do parades that are five to nine miles long so uh <laughs> it, they're they're very lengthy and it gets it gets tiring so take turns passing them off keeping you fresh
Wonderful. Now, you said the horses closest have to be the strongest. They have the, the most weight to pull. Um, the team, the, the eight horses, obviously, they all work together uh, in conjunction with one another. Do you trade out that wheel horse for any of the other horses for different events, or is it always those same horses that do that, the biggest job? Uh, so what we say is typically they can move forward or back one position, and all of them can move left and right. Um, so obviously Merlin, we met earlier. You're not going to put way out in front and lead because you know he's the biggest. Um, we want the biggest in the back because they initially get the wagon moving and they turn it. So the tongue that's on the wagon in between the two wheel horses is the one that actually turns the wagon. Front six can do whatever they want, but as soon as those wheel horses turn is when the wagon turns. So you want the smallest in the front because they need to cover the most ground on turns. Um, so they need to be quick. So when we go into a turn. You're holding, you know, your back four big horses to the opposite side you're turning, and then you're pulling your lead and swing team to the way you want to go. So, you know, you're going to get a big arcing turn, so they have to be able to move quick and cover that much ground. Now, talk about taking care of this, uh, this tack. It looks like quite a job to keep it looking like that. Yeah, so on show day, we'll come in here, and it takes two people about four hours to polish and wipe it off. Um, you know, if we got a week where we're doing a lot of shows, um, it's easier to come in here and polish it. And if that's the case, then, you know, we'll touch up the leather, the patent leather. You know, we'd make it look real nice. It's an incredible job, obviously, a lot of work. Um, talk a little bit about the accommodations now. This particular um, vehicle is just for TAC. Um, so you have two other vehicles you travel with, and the horses travel in there. I notice you have nice bedding over there for them that, uh, that's the, that looks like it's the dust-free, obviously, in a, in a trailer a lot. That's important. Talk about what their accommodations are like. I hear it's quite luxurious. Yeah, so uh, when we travel with the trucks, uh, we stay in the same order. So the first truck holds four horses and those portable stalls that we have in there will go in the back. The second truck will hold all six horse, the rest of the six horses. And then this one will be third and has a wagon and harness. Um, we do use the dust free shavings and we'll put in there. Um, the two uh, horse trucks have fans and the windows and the six horse truck is the one that has the dogs in it as well so each truck is equipped with cameras so inside the cab we can watch everything that's happening inside there along with backup cameras as well wow precious cargo able to keep an eye on them all the time that's fantastic and i hear very roomy and and well ventilated and fans very comfortable right oh yeah they uh they got enough room to move around but not too much you know to give them too much freedom in there I suppose you have to travel with your stalls because places you go don't always have stalls big enough, right? Yeah, so yeah something like this or we go to a fair, you know, we set up our stalls, um, set up a nice display, get the wagon out and uh, have people come in and see all they want. Fantastic. So this weekend, um, we're going to see you in action here at Live Oak International on Friday and on Sunday in the ring. Um, so people can come and watch that. They're also welcome to come by here in the barn um, and meet the horses and, and learn a little bit about them, which is an incredible experience. You're going to be here all weekend. Um, also going to be downtown on Saturday for the Horse Capital Parade presented by Live Oak International. Going to see you in the streets of downtown Ocala, which uh, will be absolutely thrilling. I hear the, the light post banners are going up today. So uh, we're, we're really, really excited uh, to have you here in the horse capital of the world. Anything else that you, you like to add other than our amazing weather? <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we love coming to Ocala. Uh, it's a beautiful place, horse capital. Um, everyone's nice here all the time, whether it be here at Live Oak or we sometimes stay over at the horse park. So uh, weather is usually beautiful for us to accommodate us here. I actually saw your horses at the horse park. I was thrilled to see them. I stopped and jumped out of my truck and said hi. <laughs> <laughs> Lane, I want to thank you so much. It's such a pleasure uh, to meet you. Thank you for all the information. We, we all want to learn about the, about the Budweiser Clydesdales, and we all want to meet them this weekend, and we've got the perfect opportunity, March 5th to the 8th, here at Live Oak International at the Live Oak Stud. You can come and visit them right here in the barn. You can see them in action Friday and Sunday at Live Oak International in its 30th year, the most exciting equestrian event in Ocala. And don't forget the Horse Capital Parade presented by Live Oak International in downtown Ocala this Saturday night. I'm Louisa Barton for the Horse Talk Show.